The great controversy should be very widely circulated. It contains the story of the past, the present, and the future. In its outline of the closing scenes of this Earth's history, it bears a powerful testimony in behalf of the truth. I am more anxious to see a wide circulation for this book than for any others I have written. For in the great controversy, the last message of warning to the world is given more distinctly than in any of my other books. Letters to 85, 1905. I know many, many of us pray for you and support you. Thank you. And we have also a book for you, a Bible engraved for you. And then we have the rights of the people and civil government and religion. And I know you have the book, The Great Controversy. Can you share a little bit about what that's meant to you? I did exactly what I was told to do uh, by my Adventist uh, friends and colleagues. As I read the last eight chapters first of The Great Controversy. Then I went back and I read it, the whole book, and then I shared copies of it with others. <laughs> okay. And... Anyone who does that will gain an understanding that Ellen White saw the future that we're living out right now. It's clear. Wow. It's clear. You can all see it. And so my time with the Adventist has been wonderful in Berrien Springs uh, several times, Tampa, Phoenix several times. I'll be joining the worldwide audience, and thank you so much for all, all of you who are watching online in Nuremberg, Germany, in a few months. Wow. And like you, we're here for a reason. We see that we are in this great controversy. It's happening right now in front of us. It's unfolding. It's so clear. And that we are playing a role in bringing this to a close, and it may be the rest of our lives. I think it will be. I think so. I think it will be. I am honored to be among you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. McCullough. We support you and love you dearly. Thank you so much. I speak to you who are engaged in the canvassing work. Have you read volume four, The Great Controversy? Do you know what it contains? Have you any appreciation of the truth matter? Do you not see that the people need the light therein given? If you have not already done so, I entreat you to read carefully the solemn warnings and appeals. I am sure that the Lord would have this work carried into all the highways and byways, where our souls to be warned of the dangers so soon to come. I was moved by the Spirit of the Lord to write that book, and while working upon it, I felt a great burnet upon my soul. I knew that the time was short, that the scenes which are soon to crown upon us would at last come very suddenly and swiftly as represented in the words of Scripture. The day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Letter 1, 1890.